Hello everyone and welcome to another fly tying session here from Nordic Anglers. My name is Daniel uh, and today we're going to tie a fly that I had a lot of success with fishing for uh, Dorado, Tuna and Queenfish in Dubai last year. We have dubbed this the Queenie because we caught a lot of Queenfish on this one. It's a fairly simple bait fish pattern. Um, it has a lot of bling um, and this, this makes it uh, highly efficient in, in a bit murkier water as well. Um, but it's just a really nice way of doing a small, very lively, uh, really, really well moving fly um, that, that just fishes and performs out, outstandingly. So uh, basically this is a good way of tying a bait fish and the good thing about this pattern is you can change the color scheme so you can make it into a sand eel, you can make it into a, to a bunker or whatever bait fish you have just near you very, very easily. It's fast to tie, so it's easy to, you know, whip up five of these, add them to the box and then go fishing. Um, and, and basically that's it. So a really cool, small, lively pattern that shines in the water and that fish really like, fast swimming fish really, really like. So here goes. We're going to tie the Queenie. The first thing we need is a hook, and of course you can make this in any color, uh, yeah, in any color you like or in any size. I'm going to use this for queenfish in Dubai uh, later this year, so I'm going to tie this on a bit bigger hook, at least for for the box for now. But it's it's excellent in in all different sizes and also in in a lot of different colors. Uh, the the main thing here is basically to have. Uh, the way of building this fly as, as I do in this video, which ensures that, uh, that the fly here has all the, all the right properties and, and it does what it's supposed to do. The first thing we need is, uh, is some super hair. This is basically some uh, quite stiff nylon fibers that is crimped. And I use these to, uh, as, as kind of um, uh, the first layer to ensure that not as many of the materials gets caught in the uh, in the hook uh, hook gape as possible. So I just tie in first one short bundle, small bundle of this to to make the fly a bit more stiff and to to ensure that, as I said, that that um, the materials are not being caught in the in the hook gape. Then, for some reason, that that was a bit too short. Then I take another bundle of approximately the same size. And again, I make sure that, that the, uh, the fibers here are not uniform in length. And then I tie one down that is a bit longer. Again, to ensure that the fly here, the material stays where they should go and does not tangle. There we go. These are a bit too long, so basically I'm just gonna make sure that they're not, as I said, completely uniform in length. There we go, and then I can cut this away. Leave that for later, for the next one I'm going to tie for the box. And then basically what we do is we use some angel hair. Angel hair is a very nice, soft, very flashy material um, that works really well for, for wings like this. It has a lot of spark to it, uh, which will uh, <laughs> you'll see that in a second. But it makes it really, really, really well for flies like this that you want to really just stand out and uh, and have a lot of uh, a lot of a lot of spark to it. Some of the waters down there can be a bit murky, so so this really highlights the fly very well, and uh, and also ensures that you can see the fly easily when you fish it, so you can see if you have fish following the flies and stuff. So I tie down a bundle of this. It's going to be approximately the same length as um, as the uh, the longest of the uh, super hair. There we go. We can always cut that a bit down if if it's a bit too long. Some of it was a bit too long. There we go. And that is basically the wing or the body of of this small sardina baitfish. I'm going to leave this in front because we have to turn that over to to fill out the head of the fly, but also to uh, to give it the right finishing touch. 
Then I'm gonna take some uh, ostrich hurls. You can use flat wing feathers if you like, if you have some, but ostrich is <laughs> does a very similar job, but it's just a lot less ex expensive and, uh, and a lot easier to come by. It looks almost the same in the water. I mean, I, if, if you have flat wing uh, hackles, you know, really long uh, saddle feathers, then you can use those as well. They are very nice for something like this, but, but this will, will, will be really, really good as well. So basically I add them to the wing um, to give the fly even more life and also bulk it a bit up, make it a bit more bulky. And these of course entangle very, very much with the angel hair. And I'm gonna cut this off there. Apply a bit more tying thread. And then the finishing touch uh, in regards to materials is gonna be a bundle of, uh, in this case, some dark blue angel hair. You can use, I mean, you can use whatever you like. You can use red or green or, or a softer shade of blue if, if that fits the uh, the, the, the bait fish in your area, but this blue one turned out to be really, really excellent for uh, for the, the queenfish and dorados last year, so I'm gonna use that again. Yeah, and do exactly the same way as with the pearl stuff, basically tie it on top, and that's gonna be the the uh, the top part of, uh, of the actual fly here, the, the back of the fly. Then I'm gonna make a whip finish. It's a really, really shiny fly, but on some days that is <laughs> excellent, an excellent choice. There we go. I'm not going to use any glue on this because I'm going to use some glue, uh, a lot of glue in a second. Uh, when I turn this over to fill out the, uh, the fish skull, the fish mask, sorry, that we're going to use for this one. This is a fairly large hook, so I'm going to use a, form, a size 4 fish mask. And basically, I fold this over fold the other material back here so I have everything in place and then I'm gonna try to fit my fish skull on here that looks very nice and then to ensure everything stays in place I take some Savagap and then I f glue the inside of the head and add a bit of a bit of Sabre gap to the front part of the fly as well. There we go. In order for my fish mask to be stuck when it's on there. And now I got some glue on my fingers. That is something that can happen, you know. Basically place it where it is. And Sabre gap dries not that fast. So you have a bit of time unless you apply a lot of pressure. Basically, now I take a look at the finished fly. It's, it's a bit too bulky on top here, so I'm gonna cut some of the, cut some of this off. But I'm not gonna do that in, in just you know, basically just cut it off because because I want the ends of this fly to taper. You have now the ostrich inside there. You have the the darker back as as on on a real bait fish and uh, and this because it's so soft the materials here are so soft this will look really really well in the water it will swim really well uh, of course the angel hair is fairly is is not that durable so i mean this fly will last you uh depending on the number of teeth that your actual fish you're fishing for uh, have. I'm going to use this for Queenie and Dorado, and they have quite a lot of small teeth, so this will maybe last me five fish or so. Um, and then it's going to be too mangled and too messed up, but I mean, five fish is okay. Uh, and and uh, tuna, some of the tunas have smaller teeth as well, so it, I, I think, I think about three, four or five fish should should do it for this fly but i mean the the amount of time it took me to tie is not that that difficult and you can even use the reuse the hook if you want i'm just saying that you need to be aware that this fly can uh, die um over time due to uh, due to fish teeth but i mean that's okay it's it's fairly inexpensive 
the material is not that ex expensive and I like to add an eye that really adds some contrast to the fly as well. So the red one here is, is a good option for me. I mean a silver one would be would, would look nice as well or a blue one, uh, even a gold one could, could possibly work as well. But I like to have the contrast and uh, well there you have it. The Queenie. <laughs> There's a glue on this one still. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to miss any more with that. So, a small, fast bait fish with a lot of kick. Well, basically, there you have it, the Queenie. I'm going to fill my box with these for, uh, for my upcoming trip. I mean, I think this is a really awesome uh, basic pattern for fishing all sorts of, uh, of different uh, blue water species. It's a really nice imitation of any bait fish and you can of course apply and adapt exactly this pattern to whatever waters you're fishing. And this will work exceedingly well in for trouts in, uh, in streams as well. I mean, just change up the patterns to, to fit the waters that you fish. The overall idea about this fly is good. It looks very much like a small fish. It moves like a small fish and it catches a lot of big fish. So um, that was the Queenie, hope you enjoyed. You can, as always, find the full material kit to this fly and any other fly at Nordic Anglers. Um, and, you know, I, the rest there is to say is just, I wish you all of the best of luck out on the water. Thank you for watching.